Psalm 88 is full of heaviness and even despair. However, there is no list of enemies, and the focus is not on particular setbacks or illnesses. Rather, the entire psalm describes the way in which the psalmist has apparently been completely forgotten by God, as summed up in these words, Lord, why abhorrest thou my soul, and hidest thou thy face from me? One section even asks of God, Dost thou show wonders among the dead? The implicit assumption seems to supply an answer, no. This adds to the despair and hopelessness of the psalm, which does not even have an uplifting final few words. However, the Christian faith teaches that while death is undeniably a reality, so too is the promise of resurrection and new life within God's new creation. In this promise, hopelessness is turned into hopefulness, and despair into joyfulness at the precious gift of life. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. O let my prayer enter into thy presence, incline thine ear unto my calling. For my soul is full of trouble, and my life draweth nigh unto hell. I am counted as one of them that go down into the pit, and I have been even as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead like unto them that are wounded and lie in the grave, who are out of remembrance and are cut away from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in a place of darkness and in the deep. Thine indignation lieth hard upon me, and thou hast vexed me with all thy storms. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me, and made me to be abhorred of them. I am so fast in prison, but I cannot get forth. My sight faileth for very trouble. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched forth my hands unto thee. Dost thou show wonders among the dead, or shall the dead rise up again and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be showed in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wondrous works be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land where all things are forgotten? Unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and early shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why abhorrest thou my soul, and hidest thou thy face from me? I am in misery, and like unto him that is at the point to die. Even from my youth up thy terrors have I suffered with a troubled mind. Thy wrathful displeasure goeth over me, and the fear of thee hath undone me. They came round about me daily like water, and compassed me together on every side. My lovers and friends hast thou put away from me, and hid mine acquaintance out of my sight.